All right, it's time now for our digital life hack, and every week we put one of these together. And I'm going to preface this week's with just a little comment that it's better to be prepared than to panic because the coronavirus outbreak continues to make its way across the globe as health officials are urging everyone to be more vigilant and to prepare for the possibility of more cases. So should you prepare for the coronavirus? Yes. What does the spread of the virus mean to your business, your data, your family? It's all about being proactive and starting with something called process mapping. We've done this here at the Kim Commando Show Studios and Jeremy in our IT department is amazing. He came to me and said, Kim, we have to do process mapping. And I was like, what is that? And process mapping is where employees, they have written guidelines and instructions that allow them to act in other roles of the business. So if you work in publication, you could process map the copy editing process so that potentially a writer could do that role without missing a beat. And we've got more information about this. Very important step for any size business on our website. Number two, you want to stay informed. You want to ignore the news. If you're looking for accurate, up-to-date way to track the spread of the illness, we've got a map from John Hopkins University, and we've posted it over at commando.com. You know, be skeptical of what you see on Facebook, please, and stop passing it and sharing it. And then I wanted to put together some work-at-home options for you. You want to look at software suites like G Suites or Office 365 because this way your workers can actually be at home. There's 14-day free trials. It also has two-factor authentication. It costs $6 a month for Google. And then if you're looking at Microsoft Office 365, it's $8.25. Number four, secure your data all across the board. You want to make sure that you're using things like VPNs and password managers and that people are able to access things. You want to search for the report on our site called How to Prepare Your Business for the Coronavirus. That's where we have detailed step-by-step instructions on setting up the security for your Windows and Mac. Then finally, virtual meetings. Let's say, for example, some people are sick, they're at home, maybe they've been uh, quarantined in their community. How do you make that magic happen? There are services like Zoom and Skype and Slack that will keep your business going. And again, my intention is not to go ahead and instill panic on you. I want you to be prepared. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.